Hi everyone, my name is Dayo Ademola. I'm the Managing Director for Nigeria for Branch International Financial Services. Now, I would love to know one thing. Seeing as Branch uh, Financial Services is also a digital payment platform, right? How exactly are you coping? First off, your competitions, you see a lot, you see a wide range of businesses out there that are doing the exact same thing. What difference are you bringing to the table? Well, I think the difference for us is we are one of the pioneer um, platforms giving out digital loans in Nigeria, in most of Africa, but in Nigeria specifically. Um, and that has been our wedge product. So we've gotten pretty good at being able to underwrite users just based on data on their phone um, and being able to give out uncollateralized loans. Um, and that's what most people come to us for. So we continue to innovate on that front. We continue to be extremely good at that business. And everything else we do is complementary to that. So we now provide a full range of banking services um, that lets you uh, have a store of value in a current account. You're able to pay all of your bills. You're able to transfer to all other financial institutions in this country as well. Um, and we also have a debit card that lets you access your funds um, remotely at any given time. And the other great thing that we do is we have an investment product um, that lets you earn, whether on a weekly basis or if you fix it for a longer period, um, on a monthly basis for your investments with us, and we offer really competitive rates there. So just being really good at what we do and remaining consistent has let us um, you know, stay ahead of the competition. All right, that is quite beautiful if you ask me. And one thing I would like to know, you spoke about not getting your uh, interest, high interest, right, on your loan. How exactly are your interest rates like? I would like to know because, I mean, in Nigeria here, we have loads of organizations that they get 30% interest off of loans. You see 12% off, like as high as 30%. Okay. How exactly are your interest rate, rates like? Well, um... I guess to be a little more specific, what I actually spoke about was the interest that you can earn when you invest with us. So when you place funds with us, um, we have very competitive rates for, for that. But for, on our loans, we also have extremely competitive rates that we charge. Okay. Um, as far as digital lenders go, we are actually one of the lower um, charging companies when it comes to, to um, lending out unsecured funds. Um, you can, we lend out starting at like 2% per month and it okay. sort of goes up from there depending on the risk profile of the user, depending on the tenor of the loan and a whole bunch of other things. And also keeping in mind that in this particular environment, you know, the CBN governor has spoken about it today as well, was asked about it today, that we are in a very high interest rate environment, which means that our cost of funds for us as a financial institution are also quite high. You add on top of that the lack of general infrastructure for you to be able to collect your loans um, and so you also have to price higher than what your loss rate is to remain a sustainable business so it is nominally high i will admit that but so are all interest rates right now i mean um, commercial banks are charging upwards of 31 32 33 percent right now for personal loans as well so you know we're all operating in a high high interest rate environment but comparatively speaking we are one of the low ones Talking about this uh, interest rate generally, yeah, I, I would like to know one thing. Seeing as these interest rates are this high, how exactly do you intend to move forward in business? Because now these are tough times that we're in. And I'm quite sure that people would not want to pay those kind of interest rates for loans that they're taking. So how exactly are you coping as a business with that? Well, contrary to what you might assume, we, our loan business does continue to grow okay. on a day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month basis. This is the only reason why we're a for-profit company. It's the only reason why we can remain um, in the business, especially since that's you know where the bulk of our revenue comes from. So yes, it is a high uh, rate environment, but it's also a high inflation environment. So you know, there yes, people are cutting um, their spend across board, but commerce continues. People still need to, you know, borrow to run their businesses. People still need to borrow to stock their shops. Um, people still need to borrow to pay for things today when your income is, is a little bit delayed. So even in that type of environment, like all business continues. We're all, you know, it costs me a lot of money to be able to fund my business because, again, um, we're in a high uh, interest rate environment. But, you know, we continue to grow our lending book. 
um, responsibly without growing our defaults. Um, so yeah, so that's, you know, as long as that continues, we continue to find new pockets of growth um, in the economy, both on the higher scale and the lower scale um, of the pyramid. And yeah, that's just, that's just how we continue to exist. All right, that is beautiful. Now, before we wrap this up, I'd like to know, what are your thoughts on the CEO Forum by Business Day? It's been extremely informative. Um, this, you know, I've been here for most of today. The speakers have been extremely high caliber um, and have been extremely honest. So our central bank governor was asked some tough questions and also gave some very good, very plausible, informative answers. So, you know, it's a great place for, um, for government and for business to engage with the media and increase the transparency in the business that we do today. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.